since we're talking about this whole vaccine and stuff is like our post-op management, there's new peptides that are out there that are replacing some of the older ones. Our Wolverine stack that we usually prescribe from post-operative care comes in a pack. It's four peptides. Three of them are shots and one of them's uh, trochee, which is under the tongue. The trochee is the GHK uh, copper that helps with the healing process. Uh, it's anti-inflammatory, but also helps with building collagen and healing those scars. Tessamorlin helps with release of extra growth hormone. Um, it's going to help with the healing process as well. And then the pentadecapeptide, which is a synthetic form of the same thing as BPC, which since BPC has been taken off the market. Does pentadecapeptide a, literally translate to a 510 peptide? Probably. Decapeptide. Yeah, I don't I mean, that's, it has yeah. to be. <laughs> Yeah, it, well, it, <laughs> right. it, Socrates it, it's, to, a 50, uh, it's a fifteen. It's a fifteen-amino acid. There you peptide. go, fifteen. Yeah, yeah. The, we got our <laughs> answer. And BPC is a fifteen-amino acid yeah, peptide we as go. well. Only difference is like BPC is better for GI healing, which you know I took it, you could great. still take a oral BPC. So the injectable, I thought the injectable BPC was better for healing. So we have this injectable form of BPC along with TB500, thymosin beta-4 now, TB4. that will help with the healing process with your T-cells. It's for tesamorlin, pentadecapeptide, thymosin beta-4, and GHKCU. Comes in a pack of four, and so do you cycle it for the first shot month. in one pill? Uh, no, it's three shots in one pill. It is three separate shots? Yeah. How often? You you could mix the probably mix the penta decapeptide and the thymosin beta four. Right. Although a lot of company, a lot of pharmacists say not to mix them. Okay. Most of them are you know five days a week, two days the weekends off, and you do it for a cycle of the month. 